Scalpel. Bandage. Smaller bandage. All right. I think you're ready to go. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. So today will be a quick one. We are on a race against time as our ballistic dummy here is crumbling after our shoot last week with the HDR50. As you see, my nurse and I tried to patch it up the best way we could, but the gel is just splitting uh, in all the spots where I hit it. I surgically removed all the shrapnel that I could, and here we are giving our dummy his second and final reason for existing. So today we'll go a little bit bigger and more powerful with our HDR68 which has had the restrictor removed and shoots at around 30 joules. So our goal today is to try a variety of projectiles, uh, this time 68 caliber, on our fully loaded ballistic dummy, which I got at a discount from ballisticdummylab.com. Thank you very much, Ballistic Dummy Lab. The purpose of today's video is purely scientific. We finally have the chance to use a target that mostly can resemble a real case scenario, the type of target that is used in courts or in the labs of the FBI. This, my friends, is as real as it gets without getting real. As we all know, Umarex calls its T4E series HD launchers, and the HD stands for home defense. So today we'll try a whole variety of 68 caliber projectiles to see how effective a tuned up HDR 68 actually is. So without further ado, let's introduce today's ammunition. We'll be using the usual very common 68 caliber rubber steel balls. This is the S-type. These are going to be the lightest, softest kind we'll be shooting today. We'll then switch to Home Defense's 24 lightweight, these are seven and a half grams uh, aluminum balls. As you can see, I, I shot up the can the other day by accident. We'll then try these. These were amazingly powerful in a recent video that I made. They are the almost 11 gram, 10.9 grams rubber steel balls. So they have a steel core uh, and a rubber uh, wrapping around them. Very, very strong balls. And then guys, I'm going to be introducing two brand new projectiles um, for the first time ever seen, not only on this channel, but in general. Uh, these are Kododo's uh, sabotaged 45 caliber bullets into a 68 caliber casing. So basically they're like the nine millimeters, but we have a 45 millimeter bullet for our 68 caliber HDR68. I'm super excited to try these. Um, again, as always, you'll find all the links in the description below. And then, guys, I'm super excited to try these out too. These, my friends, are buckshots, uh, originally designed for the HDS68, but they also fit in the HDR68. They contain eight 6mm steel BBs uh, in a very soft rubber sabot, which basically allows it to open up in air so that the BBs can spread properly. Um, it, I can't wait to shoot this. And how do you load it? As you see, I don't know if you can see it, there's a transparent uh, front part while the back part is green. So we load them from the front and the transparent part goes up. Again, I'll be shooting about two of each uh, on, our, on our ballistic dummy to see you know, kind of what damage they do. Because if I shoot more than that, then we risk destroying the dummy and not being able to shoot all our projectiles. So these are our buckshots. And last but not least, we'll be shooting our 68 caliber Z-Rams. These are our completely very lightweight, metal pointy slugs. And as always, we'll be changing CO2 cartridge every five or six shots. Uh, as usual, I'll be using these Umarex CO2 cartridges. All right, folks, we are ready to step outside to shoot our ballistic dummy. But before we do so, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, do subscribe to the channel. 
Today is another warm February day here in South Florida. It is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's more or less 26 degrees uh, Celsius. As you know, heat does give that extra kick to the CO2. And as always, we'll be shooting our target from our usual 20 feet, which is about six meters. We will start today with these uh, lightweight rubber steel balls. Uh, this is a brand called ASIL Selling. It's very common on Amazon. Again, these are the softest, uh, lightest projectiles we'll be shooting at our dummy today. All right, so that second shot hit him pretty hard in the eye and bounced back. So had not been a ballistic dummy and had the guy not had any sunglasses, um, definitely it would have brought a lot of damage to his right eye. And the other shot hit a bit higher here and it kind of uh, enlarged this split right here. Um, anyways, I wasn't expecting too much from these rubber balls. As we know, these are uh, mainly made for plinking, for target practicing. Um, not so much for defense purposes. So let's move up uh, to stronger projectiles, the aluminum balls. Up next, let's go with Home Defense's 24 aluminum balls. They did great in the 58, in the 50 caliber version. Let's see what they'll do with 68. Well, 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 the aluminum balls did indeed enter the skull here. Yep, they're in, all right. And we did hurt him pretty bad. Wow. Moving up, these did amazing. Uh, in a recent video I made with the HDB 68, uh, rubber steel balls with a steel Core by Home Defense 24. All right, so one of the balls went through the gel and got stuck in the eye socket. Uh, I cannot see the other one. Oh, you guys saw it already on the slow-mo where it went. I still need to figure it out, but we are hurting this guy pretty well, all right. Let's have a look at our newest projectiles in the house. These saboted bullets by Kododo. They fit in pretty well, um, slightly loose, but I have to say, as you can see, they do not fall out. All right, well, the second one was a bit high, but the, the first one, we hit him smack in the middle. Um, this is the conditions of the skull right now. Um, let's turn him to the side a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Let's turn to the side a little bit and since it's a bit more fresh. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, up next, our 68 cal pointy Z Rams. <laughs> All right, folks, well, the Z-Rams um, definitely made two holes in the gel, in the meat, but did not get all the way to the skull. As you saw, actually, they did bounce back. And finally, folks, our Kododo 68 caliber buckshots. <laughs> All 
All right, well, in both cases, uh, they did not open up these buckshots. So um, let's try again. Hmm, right, once again, it seems like they did not open up in the air, so there was no spread. Um, Maybe 20 feet is too too small of a distance. We need to shoot from further away. I don't know, but I will be definitely reviewing these uh, separately uh, in a different moment. So let's just leave it at this for now. I'll also talk to the maker to see what, uh, what he thinks about this result. So we have shot all the projectiles, but as you see, we still have a lot of room here. So I am going to shoot uh, more of what I think are the winners of this test, which are the aluminum balls and the Kododo bullets. Um, so I'll be shooting those two until we disfigure our, uh, our little uh, dummy lab here and then we'll call it a day. All right, folks, I have a magazine filled with aluminum balls and another one filled with our 45 caliber bullets in our 68 caliber plastic sabot. Um, and we will now put in a brand new CO2 cartridge, throw in a couple drops of silicone oil, which is always good for the seals. And let's start shooting. All right, well, our nine millimeter bullets, we hit this area a lot. We saw that one actually entered. The skull is completely cracked in pieces. Um, again, one of them did indeed enter. Oh yeah, one's just stuck in here with the whole sabot. Look at that. One hit here, cracked the skull, did not go all the way through. But uh, yeah, indeed. <laughs> Very strong damage. Uh, let's turn them around and try the, oh, this side's pretty bad, huh? And try the aluminum balls on this side. All right, folks. Well, we haven't completely entered the skull like we did at the beginning. Or maybe we did. Look at that. Complete holes in, in the skull, but no blood. Cracks, but no brains. All right, guys, I'm coming up with a surprise for you. All right, folks. Well, as you know, these ballistic uh, dummies only have about two weeks of life from the moment you unbox them. So this is really the last I can shoot it. Um, there's a lot of it still that is left intact and it's a bit of a waste given what it costs. So I thought I'd pull out my HDB 68 which has been fully modified to its maximum potential and as you see I loaded it with a whole variety of ammo. We have uh, aluminum balls, we have the steel rubber balls with the steel core and just a normal steel rubber balls um, that are just rubber with steel mixed inside and let's see what happens to our ballistic dummy and after that we are done for today Well, folks, I think this is it for our guy here. We did indeed break most of his facial 
bones and messed them up pretty well. These, my friends, are the effects of the HDR68 without the restrictor, so shoots at about 30 joules with a whole variety of 68 caliber projectiles. Thank you so much for liking this video. If you did indeed like it, click that like button and do indeed subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, and I will see you next week. Thank you.